The story of these five IPL cricketers will give you hope that anything is possible. From waiters to daily wage earner, these brand new stars have truly risen up the ranks. The Indian Premier League IPL has thrown up some remarkable stories of cricketers aspiring to reach the top. Not bound by the limitations of geography and even poverty, these cricketers through sheer sure hard work, perseverance, and skill have managed to climb the mountain of opportunity and make their presence felt on television sets across India. Subscribe the channel and click on bell icon for notification of next update. Here are 5 cricketers in the IPL who have come from humble beginnings. Rinku Singh, the story of Rinku Singh, an all-rounder from Aligarh, Uttar Pradesh, who was acquired by the Kolkata Knight Riders for stunning RS80 lakh, is remarkable. The big-hitting batsman began playing the sport in 2009 and swiftly rose through the ranks of domestic cricket with his state team. Kings 11 Punjab acquired his services last year, but Rinku failed to feature in any match. Not perturbed by this setback, he practiced rigorously and scored a stunning 91 of 31 during a Mumbai Indians trial session, before being snapped up by KKR. However, his rise to the top was anything but comfortable. From a tin roof to room home in an LPG distribution company's storage compound which housed eight family members, Brinku Singh began his professional cricketing journey after completing his class 10th exams. He realized that his heart was not in academics anymore and went with cricket. With a family in debt, a father selling LPG cylinders and one brother working as an autoric shaw driver, Brinku had to contribute his share to the family income with earnings from playing matches. He even gave the motorbike he had won after a Man of the Series award at the end of a tournament in Delhi, to his father so that he could deliver LPG cylinders. Despite all the hard work and sacrifice, Brinku's cricket career never quite took. He even contemplated working as a domestic worker, sweeping and mopping floors, before gaining the courage to follow his dreams. Mohammed Siraz Mohammed Siraz, the son of an auto rickshaw driver, has endured a stunning rise to the top backed by lofty dreams and unrelenting dedication. This fast bowler from Hyderabad had taught himself how to bowl. His breakthrough year was 2015 when he scalped 41 wickets in nine matches in a Ranji Trophy season. Two years later, however, his life changed with the 2017 IPL auction. From a base price of Rs 20 lakh for the speedster, various franchises made a bid for his services before the Royal Challengers Bangalore shelled out a whopping Rs 2.6 crore. He even made his debut for Team India last year in the T20 series against New Zealand. T. Natarajan For Thangarasu Natarajan, the son of a daily wage worker and roadside seller of edibles, life has been roller coaster ride. The speedster from Keenap and Patti, an obscure village 36 kilometers off Salem, overcame all obstacles to make it big time. Acquired by the King's 11 Punjab for rupees 3 crore last year, Natarajan now supports his parents and four younger siblings. Before cricket, however, his family was struggling to make ends meet and barely had any money to support his dreams of making it to the professional game. Thanks to the intervention of fellow village folks who saw his promise and sheer determination, he made his mark in the local Chennai club cricket circuit. It was his stunning performance during the Tamil Nadu Premier League TNPL, which caught the attention of selectors. Today, he plays for the Sunrisers Hyderabad franchise. Colwyn K. Trulia. From waiting tables in Goa to opening the bowling for Royal Challengers Bangalore, Colwyn K. Trulia has travelled a long way. From a small village in Rajasthan called Junjanu, the 26-year-old pace bowler, who only began playing competitive red ball cricket in 2016, has made his IPL dreams come true. He tells, I come from a small place and have played cricket since my childhood. I dreamt of 
playing for the army, but I'd already crossed the age limit. I'd bunk classes to play the game and even was scolded by my parents. Despite my difficult situation, whenever I'd think of cricketer Nathu Singh, I'd get motivated and think, if he can get out of his village and succeed, then I can too. Unable to secure a government job and the family undergoing a tough financial situation, Kowind left for Goa to work as a waiter in a hotel run by his friend's father. It was a phone call from a friend, which inspired Kowind to give Cricket a real shot. He said, I was working at a restaurant in Goa, but I thought if it is in my fate that I do this, I could even do it five years later. I wanted to badly play cricket. My parents are moving to Ahmedabad to join the roadways department. I somehow managed to hide it from them for six months. Only my brother knew the truth. Instead, Kowent had moved to Delhi to pursue his dreams. From sharing a flat with six others in Ashok Nagar and earning rupees 500 per match, playing for local club side, he now represents Delhi in domestic cricket in Royal Challengers Bangalore. The IPL franchise paid rupees 85 lakh for his manager Dar. For this former daily wage laborer and private security guard from Jammu and Kashmir, the decision of the Kings 11 Punjab franchise to draft him into the side this year changed his life. He told in a local news agency, I have studied up to class 12th. Due to a financial crunch, I could not continue my studies. I worked as a laborer, and till date, I am engaged in furniture work. To make ends meet, I worked as security guard for Tata Motors, for rupees 2500 per month. He said. The big hitting burly batsman from the Shikanpura, Nogam, Sanwari area of South, Kashmir's Banditpur district was snapped up by the Kings 11 for rupees 20 lakh. 